The war in Bosnia-Herzegovina lasted three and a half years. It left more than 100,000 people dead and more than two million displaced, half the country's small population. There were atrocities, Srebrenica the biggest, more than 8,000 Muslim men and boys killed by Bosnian Serbs. It was the worst atrocity in Europe since World War II. Peace came 25 years ago with a deal reached in the United States, the Dayton Agreement. It may have stopped the fighting, but now suffering of a different kind is abundant. Low wages, a failing economy, corruption in the ruling elite, poor education, high unemployment. In this type of state, in this life that we are living, as a failed state, as a failed international intervention, um, we feel there's a failed people. What followed the Dayton Agreement was a bewildering, often dysfunctional system of government. Three presidents from the once warring parties, Bosnian Serbs, Croats and Bosnian Muslims. Layers of bureaucracy with divisive rule under a weak central government. David Owen, now Lord Owen, a British politician, was the European Union's intermediary and he failed to get a peace deal. He says Bosnians need to make the Dayton Agreement work. The people who have to live together in Bosnia-Herzegovina are not prepared to make the necessary compromises to do so. And there is a constant striving for separation and for changing the map and changing the deal that was the basis of the Dayton Accords. If you have that allowed to continue, then of course the Dayton Accords will break up. One hope lies with Joe Biden, the US president-elect, in stopping what was international aggression by Serbia. As a senator in the 1990s, he had a major interest in trying to solve the Bosnian conflict. And as vice president to Barack Obama, he pushed for political reform in Bosnia. This is a man who does understand the complexities of Bosnia-Herzegovina. And I think it's going to be helpful and hopeful that he will take an active interest. But again, there's cynicism about the role of international intervention. Politicians, um, including Joe Biden, who do belong to this old guard of politicians, I don't see, I don't see we need them anymore. We, we should really, after 25 years, find a way to uh, stand up uh, and to stand up on our own feet. No one won the war and the ethnic divisions it created are frozen within the politics of peace. 25 years on, there's still a shadow cast on Bosnia's future. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.